What's up guys, Duke Sloth here. Today we're talking about the new god Xiang Chen, and I hope I pronounced that right. This god will look a little different from what we've seen so far because he will be headless. In the mythology he's decapitated and therefore has his nipples as his eyes and his belly button as his mouth. As always, thanks to Ferreo from Smite Data Mining for allowing me to use this. Let's jump right into it. Sing Chen's current title is God of War. I feel like that's gonna be changed considering I think Ares has this title already. He will be physical, which makes sense because he will definitely have his axe and his shield. His passive works with successful hits and somehow plays into some other extra features that I mentioned. He has an enraged timer, so the more time he's out of combat, he will stack enraged. Once he enters combat, the stacks should apply. He will be filling energy, which might actually replace mana, we don't know yet. He will lose energy per stack dropper, whatever that means. And enraged will have some kind of visual HUD. His abilities themselves don't really have proper names yet. So the first one is called X Sweep Shield Bash. It is boosted by enraged stacks. It is able to refire. It is able to interrupt the skill while firing. So probably interruptible by CC. The animation will consist out of two parts. First sweep, second bash. And it loads an attack state. So I guess he's got some kind of stance state going on. Second ability is called Battle Cry. It seems to be a forward attack, but I could also imagine it being a buff considering the name. Third ability is called Heroic Charge. It's kind of similar to a Bologna Shield Bash. It might have the same mechanic as Bologna Shield Bash in that sense that you dash forward a little bit and then you get a cone attack because it's specified that it will be a cone attack afterwards. It blocks one basic attack for each stack. And blocked attacks result in an explosion that reflect damage. This sounds a little too much like Bologna. Maybe they just transferred over an ability from Bologna as a placeholder. His last ability, probably the ultimate, is called Sky Cutting Eggs. It currently has the same stats and animation as Bologna Spin to Strike. So that would be her two. And there's no more info on it so far. So what we know is he will be physical, he will use an axe and a shield, he will probably be able to block and attack and dash in certain ways, charge forward. He also seems to use some kind of new mechanic, something like an energy bar or whatever, maybe not even mana. That's it for this episode, thank you guys for watching, leave a like, leave a sub if you feel like it, if you don't, I don't mind, it's a sloth life after all. Until next time, Duke Sloth, out.